What's going on, everyone? Jeremy here from the quartering, and it seems like more and more of these uh, uh, teachers are self-reporting. How are they self-reporting? Well, by literally doing TikToks. I think some of them may just be weirdos, and that's not like particularly, I mean, you can dunk on them or whatever. But then there's also like some legitimate concerns with some of these people that you know, these are the people that are teaching the, you know, you can have the eccentric art teacher in elementary school or whatever, but these particular teachers as put together with by uh, Steven Crowder uh, demonstrate exactly why uh, you shouldn't trust uh, public schools to hire the right people and why there's a huge push right now for people to uh, consider homeschooling. And, you know, I just, I really can't blame them, to be honest with you. It's absolutely insane. Thank you, everyone, by the way. Uh, the last time I'll mention it today, uh, for everyone's support in launching the double caffeinated uh, coffee brand coffee. It's an Ethiopian blend. Absolutely flying off the shelves right now in whole bean and ground. Plus, people are picking up cold brew bags like crazy and hot cocoa and our regular coffee, our six organic loose leaf teas. It's been absolutely you know, the teas are, are really doing well. People really seem to like it. And uh, I appreciate that. We'll look at maybe adding more teas down the line, but um, I'll leave a link in the description to the double caffeinated. I'd love for you to try it. My, and I'll use, uh, you can use promo code the quartering to save some money today too. Uh, this via Joseph Gunderson. If public school system had its way, all of your kids would be polyamorous transgender furries. Even before starting to do basic arithmetic. For you noobs or plebs, this means it'd be in the real. I'm not even going to go into all that. Ex example after example, teachers have proven time after time after time again they shouldn't be allowed within a hundred feet of your kids, let alone left in a room with full of them. Aside from the fact that there are a growing lists of teachers being locked up every day for being awful, preying on young students. Look, the internet. I want to say this first and foremost. Uh, I know that the internet allows the extremes on both sides to be amplified. And so I don't like to paint quote unquote all teachers as like, I think the overwhelming majority of teachers are good, kind people who want the best for their students. Um, and I would assume they would join in on calling out this bad behavior. Uh, take this woman, for example, believing it is her sworn duty her calling in life to ensure parents are left unaware of their children's mental and emotional struggles. She's working to make certain these students never get the therapy they may require, hoping instead that they grow up uh, and do terrible things uh, long before uh, their parents ever know about it. This is, of course, one that's really interesting. You know, uh, teachers keeping secrets from students' parents. You see, when a student asks me to use their correct pronouns and chosen name, but not when talking to their parents. That's what I do. So very happy and proud to be hiding it from parents, which again, it, it, there's this weird like thing where teachers are just doing too much, like teach math, teach science, teach, you know, help them, you know, study. But uh, when there are issues that, you know, parents need to know about, it's not your job to hide it from them. It's your job to tell the parents you're not the parent. Maybe it's uh maybe some of these teachers have like a deep seated regret given some of their lifestyle decisions or lifestyle life choices that they actually want kids and they feel like they should be a parent. They really want to raise a kid so that they can get a bunch of social media clout by, uh, you know, inventing new, some new neo pronoun or something. Or what about this woman who hasn't a single concern for the wishes of her students, parents, or for the mental and emotional development of children left in her charge. She's going to push her quote tolerance campaign on them whether or not they understand what they're watching or not she's going to make sure all the students learn what drag is what gay means and urge her students to practice drag this is a fourth I grade totally teacher get that. so this says when people disagree with me showing kids meet a drag queen for my first time to my fourth graders i totally get that 100 percent. the thing is i don't care i really don't i don't care at all by the way, the fourth graders are not watching it uh, at all. It's just so weird. Like, why is this weird push for drag queens? 
Um, and it's like this, and then it's like, uh, there's such this like gaslighting mentality where you're not allowed to question it. Like, I feel like the normal position on this is that drag is like something that's totally fine. Um, the generally it kind of accepts such is totally fine. It's, it's clearly an adult thing. Uh, it's harmless. Why are you taking this thing and then like saying, oh, now this has to be part of elementary school. It doesn't make any sense to me. And, you know, the account lives of TikTok, which I'm sure will not be around on Twitter after once the election season starts kicking off. They're doing the Lord's work. Um, I don't really have any problem when you're talking about public employee of federal government or government employees putting this information out there on the Internet willingly and then having um, people ask questions about that. You know, I think there probably are some like teachers or weirdos who just pretend like they're just doing it for clout. But I mean, in that one, in that particular video, if you couldn't see, like there's kids literally watching the movie. Um, now these two monsters who were, uh, who, who are sociopathic, I don't know what this, they bleep it out. We can't say that word. Oh, the G word. Cause it's like dropping the N word or worse to quote the great intellectual Rick Sanchez. It's like the N word. And, um, I could go through all that. Uh, the last teacher, though, is a just a mentally deficient narcissist who will indu indubitably lead her students down a road of ignorance, stupidity, mediocrity, uh, depression, and ultimately utter failure. There is no child who will leave her classroom at the end of the year unscathed, spared from the very same brain disease she herself is presently suffering from. You can see this one. Uh, this one posted actually yesterday. These people are teaching your kids. Today is my first day subbing in an elementary school rather than a preschool. And in preschool, you're just like teacher, your first name. But in elementary school, you're like Mr. or Mrs. Last Name. And so I've been trying to think and like decide uh -huh, what my teacher uh -huh. name is going to be. And I don't want to be Mrs. Last Name. Like I've never wanted to be Mrs. Last Name. So for By the way, this person's wearing like some sort of weird old timey thing with like skeleton hands or something. For a while, I thought like Ms. Last Name would be okay. But like, I don't know. I didn't love it. And then I was like, okay, how about Ms. H? Like Ms. H woman and that just and like having a gender crisis a gender crisis this is somebody in charge of your kids and then there's another video i saw just the other day where it was like this teacher was like um like pumped like excited uh about like their students calling them mx whatever mix or it's really like the kids don't need to know anything about that. that. Why are why are you expecting toddlers to like reinforce your own delusions? The article continues. Why shouldn't you be allowing? Why shouldn't you be allowing your children to go to public school? It isn't because the infinitesimal risk of catching the coof. Uh, it's because of these uh, or the astronomically rare possibility of some random other incident going on. It's because of the one hundred percent possibility that they're going to be taught by several teachers, because it will certainly be more than one of them will do everything in their power to destroy the person they are and light and the light that they may have brought to this world. These teachers are actively working to snuff out everything that could make your child fully functioning, intelligent, creative, and wonderful. Um, I do think that some of these teachers are maybe just misguided. Um, uh, hopefully like you don't want to just assume that people are like super evil and like the worst type of humans on the planet. But it sure seems like at times, I mean, we have with, with the teacher stuff, it's weird to me when you have, when you're willing to hide secrets from the parents, like it's such a simple thing to do. You have this teacher, a professor says she will require students to wear masks, even though the university policy is mask optional. She, then she accuses students who don't want a mask of being racist. I mean, like what, this is a school that if, if it's a, an anniversary or a university and it's receiving federal funds. These are very reasonable questions. Of course they are a work in women's and gender studies. Like there are lunatics. Like, are there, is there, I'm wondering, is there the equivalent of like, um, like right wing, super religious people teaching in public schools? Is that a thing? Like as a left posting examples of that, I don't know, you know, but like the fact that, you know, teachers who are willing to keep secrets from parents, uh, that should be fire on spot.
like that's a fire on demand or fire on uh proof type scenario for me uh it's tough i my, my heart goes out to parents out there right now because it's uh it's scary and, and and these are just the people willingly putting it online for you to watch what about all the people that are not so stupid i hope you enjoyed this video thanks for helping launch the double calf over at coffee brand coffee and for so many of you trying us out the reviews have been absolutely uh, amazing uh, nearly 2000 1359 five star reviews well, 1,200 five-star reviews, 144 four-star reviews. I mean, it's just people are absolutely loving what we have to offer, and I hope that you'll try it out. I hope you enjoyed this video. We'll talk to you again real soon.